Joe Bell has been showing off his new solar panels to the neighbors. We had a little backyard party. Oh, great, yeah. To celebrate mm -hmm. putting the panels up. I love it. But for the first time, he climbed on his roof and saw the panels with his own eyes. Well, these panels here may not be very pretty, but to Joe Bell, they're beautiful. The most notable thing on it is... For him, they mean getting around 50 bucks a month from El Paso Electric. Little thing here that says credit balance. His solar panels generate more electricity than he uses, so El Paso Electric pays him for what he sends back into the power grid. It's a system called net metering. Joe was able to do it without any upfront costs because of federal and state incentives. Like a lot of Las Cruces, he's retired and he's on a fixed income. I like to call it enough to live in genteel poverty. Joe's panels were about $20,000, but with a combined 40% state and federal tax credit, he could roll the rest into his mortgage. It allows me to live in more genteel poverty. <laughs> his electric meter today rolls backwards, but it's a step forward in the way these units are financed. Now there's an incentive to increase their performance. Carrie Lane owns Energy Concepts, one of the local companies that installs the systems. He went to NMSU to study solar technology almost before you could study it. So I actually went to school to do solar, and, and so I was looking for all the classes we could, um, and, and I was kind of pushing the envelope on that as far as you know, looking for solar classes and helping the instructors with it. And you heard right, he helped his instructors. It was the late 1980s and NMSU was just getting started with solar. The Department of Energy funded the research at first. And so we got to test all the new products, which was really cool, and, and see which worked and what didn't. When it didn't, they could tell the people that made them. And do this better. The panels eventually became more reliable and cheaper, while the technology really didn't change that much. The challenges are the same as they have been for a long time. There's been a lot of education for everybody, all of us, you know, have had to learn as we go. Didn't fit into the system because the electrical inspectors didn't know what it was. And, and so teaching electrical inspectors what it does is still an issue. Changing the financing made a big difference. With net metering, companies like Energy Concepts had an incentive to build for quality. Individuals can check with local solar installers and take a look at their taxes, but a good rule of thumb is the panels might be a good idea for anybody planning to stay in the same house for at least five years. But when Joe put up his panels, he had another incentive in mind. Yeah, lots of people have said, you'll never recover your investment on the solar panels. And my answer to that is, so what? Every day I'm making electricity with no carbon footprint, and that makes me happy. Sloan Patton, CareWG News.